Fukushima plant sits smack in the middle of an underground aquifer. Deep beneath the ground, the site is rapidly being overwhelmed by water. Beneath the surface, water flows downhill and into the basement of the damaged reactor buildings. There it is contaminated with high levels of radiation. To stop the groundwater flowing on into the nearby ocean, engineers are building an underground barrier. But that is causing the groundwater level to rapidly rise. It's now so high the water will soon reach the surface. Then it will start flowing overground into the sea. This week, the company that owns Fukushima, TEPCO, made this disturbing admission. We understand that this water discharge is beyond our control, and we do not think the current situation is good. Outside experts say it's now clear TEPCO is incapable of handling the cleanup at Fukushima. It's time for the Japanese government to step in. The situation is already beyond what TEPCO can handle, he says. If it were possible to take proper measures, they would have done it already. It's not as if TEPCO is refusing to do what they can. They're doing everything they can, but there are no perfect solutions. Even if the government does step in, it's not clear what it can do. The only other solution is to pump out the contaminated groundwater and put it in storage tanks. But after just two years, the site is already jammed with more than a thousand giant tanks. Most of them are already full up. At least 400 tonnes of new water pours into the site every day, and it's going to continue for years and years. Fukushima's water crisis has only just begun. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.